All right, guys, welcome to Smash Fork Airport, the future and greatest, funnest airport on planet Earth. We are so excited to uh, expand it. I'm going to turn the time over to Brad. He's going to head up, let you know who's in line. We're going to go really fast because it's really cold, and then we're going to try and match that speed in construction of the coolest airport in the United States. So, Brad, take it away. Thanks, Mike. How does anyone follow Mike Patey with anything is what I want to know right there. We uh, are excited to have you, excited to announce this Patey Aviation Business Park today, and we're going to get right after it. So first up to uh, represent Spanish Fork City is the city manager, Seth Perrin. So we'll turn the time over to Seth. Well, thank you. You must know that I'm here uh, in place of Mayor Mendenhall. Usually when I speak, uh, nobody claps and nobody's ever excited. So I am here on behalf of Mayor Mendenhall. He's in Washington, D.C. Uh, actually, uh, among other things that he's doing there, he's talking with the legislature about funding for our airport, trying to uh, ensure that, that a lot of the growth that we're talking about uh, here today can come to pass in, in getting some of the additional federal funds that we need. And you know all too well about all of that. A number of, well, not a number, three years ago, four years ago now, I think it was March of 2020, so four years ago, uh, a number of us went to Scottsdale, Arizona and uh, looked at what that, that airport does and, and what it has become. And I remember it well, it was right before the world shut down uh, with the pandemic. But what we got out of that experience being there was a vision of, of what Spanish Fork Airport could become. And uh, we have really enjoyed the growth of the Spanish Fork Airport the last few years. I've been here for 20 years, and what we've seen around the airport the last five or so years has been amazing. And what we see coming in the next five to 10 years is incredible. And uh, we're so grateful and excited for, for this investment and what will come from the efforts of, of this group and, and others as we work to build, what are we going to coin it? The, the greatest, <laughs> funnest, best airport. Yeah, the the uh, greatest private airport, private general airport. aviation yeah. airport in the country, hands down. So <laughs> as, I'm, as I'm representing Mayor Mendenhall, and, and he can say everything best, I'm going to read just a couple of words that he shared with me. And this really will speak to uh, what is happening here. Industrial and commercial development in Spanish Fork is more than just dollars and cents, more than just decimals and zeros. It's real jobs, real income for real families. It's the economic engine that makes the rest of our municipality work effectively for its citizens. The public-private expansion of SPK, which is the uh, initials for this great airport, the expansion of this airport is a game changer for Spanish Fork and all of Utah County. This is pride and progress. And on behalf of the mayor and council, on behalf of this great community, we are so excited. We thank you for your efforts. This has been a great work in progress, a lot of effort, a lot of time. And uh, we stand with you and, and we'll do everything we can to, uh, to help this be a tremendous success. Congratulations. Thank guys. you. Woo! Thank you, Seth. Appreciate that. It's been a real opportunity to work with the city of Spanish Fork. All the employees uh, have been great to work with and we really approach this project as a partnership with the city of Spanish Fork. Next up will be the Public Works Director, Chris Thompson. All right, Chris. <laughs> Thank you, Brad. Uh, we have really appreciated the Patey Group and, and working together as partners on this project and we're really excited about it. We feel like it's going to make the airport even greater than it ever has been. I just want to talk about a couple of things about the airport, uh, how great it has been in the past. Uh, it has a, a really fantastic history of starting out with the wood houses. They had a fire here. They had wind. They've had a lot of different adversities that they had to go through to establish this airport so near the Provo Airport. And then with that, I, I've heard some stories about the crop dusting that's been uh, done out of here and, and amazing pilots have uh, risked their lives to, for the farming community. 
Then we have uh, uh, what is one of the oldest, if not the oldest, flying clubs in the nation is, is out of this airport. This is the home of Gail Halverson, the candy bomber. We have had so much rich history here at the airport and such a great group of, of pilots and hangar owners that, that uh, when they come together, they just they talk about how do we get things done. And, and, and this is a great example of that. And, and that's really what uh, the city is all about, is helping, partnering, and, and getting things done to make this the, the best airport that it can be. So thank you. Thank you, Chris. Thanks, Chris. <clears throat> thank you, Chris. Appreciate that. So the airport manager here is uh, Christian Davis. He does a wonderful job, and we're so excited to work with Christian. Always willing to help, always available, and we'd like Christian to say a few words here today. Thanks, Brad and the Petty Aviation team. It's been great working in this role as the airport manager for just the last two years. Um, so as, when I stepped into this role, you know, they were just starting uh, putting together basic site plans and gearing up to do this project and seeing the progression over these last two years up to this point has been absolutely incredible. And I look forward to the next two years um, seeing this come to life. Um, I, uh, you know, it's been great to work with specifically Brad here, as well as uh, Civil Solutions, um, their engineers, as well as each of the partners. Um, it's great to, you know, see the responsiveness and the excitement to invest here in our airport. Um, so thank you to Pity Aviation, and I look forward to working with you. Thank you. Thanks, Christian. <clears throat> So now I'm gonna turn it over to Mike Patey. Mike and Mark are legends. If you don't know anything about private aviation, just Google Mike and Mark Patey. These guys are legends. They're in a number of Hall of Fames. They've won races, they've built parts, they've, they've patented many parts for planes, just done so much for the private aviation world. And so it's an honor to know Mike and Mark and, and the t other partners, Grant and Ryan, that Mark, Mike's going to introduce at this time. So turn the time over to Mike here. All right, guys. So um, these two volunteered me to do all the talking. So um, let me introduce them in the most embarrassing way. Ah. No, I won't do that. Uh, all right. So we've got Ryan and Grant, both partners in this development. Without these guys, this wouldn't be happening. This is a huge, huge project. It's a roughly $60 million project expanding to well over 100 plus million and continuing in very short amount of time. And uh, these two guys are experts in their field, in their business, and to partner up with them, bring our minds together. Um, the culmination of the design, the park in the middle, uh, the services, the restaurant, all the things that you are going to see in the Patey Aviation Business Park is the culmination of the three of us getting together in the middle of the night, weekends, working hard. So I hope you like what we come up with because I couldn't have done it without these guys. So thanks to my partners. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> All right, so um, for any of you new that haven't kind of followed what we're trying to do, uh, haven't followed along as we've put out little teasers about this new aviation business park, this is about making sure we build the Spanish Fort community. It's called the Aviation Business Park because we want to bring businesses to the valley. We want to bring jobs, community, service, all the things that we can do at this airport, search and rescue, life flight, um, Helicopter repair stations, Cirrus repair stations, Cub repair stations, full paint and service center. We want to make sure that we have a home, not only for general aviation, but for the entire public to circle around and be proud of. And so we're bringing a lot of businesses, a lot of jobs. We're really, really grateful to the city of Spanish Fork. Everybody at Spanish Fork has been unbelievable. And I got to tell you, it's been a couple years since we started the dialogue and moving down this road. And uh, the city in one of the meetings, and I, I would love to say who it was, but I can't remember, but what was said will ring through with me to the start of this project all the way to the end. And they have proven it to this point. It takes years to get to this day. And they said, we are so excited about what you want to do. This is when Spanish Fork is a city is going to step up and show you what true partners 
we are going to be to bring this airport and this new development to the project. Just watch what we do. And I got to tell you, they have absolutely been unbelievable support and a great uh, asset to us in this project. So thank you, Spanish Fork City. <clears throat> All right, um, all right, these couple of uh, latest renderings right here I want you to take a look at. Um, we're doing something really different. A lot of airports around the country, you go find a parking lot out in the middle of nowhere and walk and drag your bags all over the place, sometimes literally for blocks on end to get to where your hangar is. We want this to be the funnest, most convenient general aviation air park there is airport there is and so you can see there's a big giant one-way roundabout that goes around it, an entire central park with an aircraft parked on a pedestal where you can pull up and pull up to each individual hangar without having to go through a gated code you can park walk in and have your hangar right next to it each hangar has its own private uh, keyed entry to all the people in that hangar row they have their own restrooms their own fridge, lounge area, TV, it's like every single row of hangars has a little community space for everyone to come and gather and then roll just a few feet down an enclosed hallway and open the back door into their hangar. They're not out in the weather, in the climate. So we, we believe we've accomplished uh, something that will be copied all around the country. So we're really excited to have it. The park out in the middle is to make sure that while you're waiting or you show up to the airport early, or if you're just coming down to the restaurant to have a bite to eat, you can circle the park, check out the airplane, take your dog for a walk, and just enjoy the atmosphere. Centered on that park, if you were to come out of the main FBO and look across all the trees of the park, <coughs> you're going to see this. <coughs> the great Mount Temp, Rocky Mountain Range. This is one of the most beautiful places on Earth, so we tried to arrange the buildings, the glass, the windows, the park to align with what we here in Utah are really proud of, and it's the Rocky Mountain Range, the lakes, the rivers, the hiking, the trails, everything we have to offer. So uh, we're super excited about it. This is officially the groundbreaking ceremony. So um, I've seen gold-painted shovels. I've never done it. I've done tons of projects my whole life. So I'm kind of excited to go grub that thing up and make it look like it's supposed to because that just isn't right. So we're going to dirty that up and take some pictures. But uh, all of you that came to support, uh, all of you who have bought hangers and are looking forward and are here because you have a spot on the field, thank you for joining us. Thank you ha for having faith in this group and this team to try and bring you a home for yourself, your plane, your family, a place to rest and relax. So thank you all for coming out in this freezing cold. We're going to do a couple pictures. We love you guys. We have a lot to do. So as you guys know, I say all the time, back to work. <laughs>